What are my favorite movies of 2023? What is happening guys back at you with another video so in this video we're going to be listing off some of my favorite movies that came out in the year of 2023 and we're also going to do some guilty pleasures starting off with some of my favorite movies of 2023 starting off with the super mario brothers movie i really had a blast watching this in theaters really like what they were able to do with this movie and just had so much fun with it john wick chapter 4 was definitely another favorite from this past year just the way we're able to get this action franchise still going strong. And this movie was absolutely awesome. A lot of great action. So this was definitely one of my favorites of the year. Air was another favorite from this past year. The way we're able to get this story to where you kind of basically know the ending. If you know anything about Michael Jordan and Air Jordan shoes. But they give us those details of the story that you probably don't know about. Kind of comes across as a sort of underdog story. But really, it was a really good movie. Creed 3 was definitely another favorite from 2023. Now, I know it probably is not the strongest or best Creed movie in the Creed and Rocky franchise. But I still think it was a solid addition. Really like the way they were able to tell the story. And having the, the directorial debut of Michael B. Jordan, I thought he did some pretty good things here. And being able to have Jonathan Majors as the villain was pretty cool to see. Now, I already said that Gran Turismo was a surprise, but I gotta say, it was actually kind of a favorite also from this past year. Just the way we're able to get this sort of feel-good underdog story. And, you know, sort of a adaptation of a game, but it also has the backdrop of being based on a true story. I really enjoyed this movie. This was sort of another surprise from this past year, but also turns out to be a favorite. And that's gonna be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I really actually kind of like what they were able to do with this new Ninja Turtles characters and uh, telling this new Ninja Turtles story. I honestly didn't know what to expect with this one, but they actually turned out a pretty good movie. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing with the future of this franchise. And of course, no surprise that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be one of my favorites from 2023. Just the way they're able to give us this movie, this finale to the, these characters, finale to this whole trilogy and story. Putting us on a emotional roller coaster of a ride in this movie. And just, I really love this movie. One of my favorites of the year. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I had to choose only one favorite movie from 2023, that's going to be Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I thought this movie was amazing. It has some amazing animation. The way they're able to portray different styles of animation within this movie from the different universes. Awesome soundtrack. And just being able to give us this story, continue the story of Miles Morales, but also give a story to Gwen Stacy. And I cannot wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. I'm so hyped for Beyond the Spider-Verse. We had the return of the Hunger Games franchise with Hunger Games, The Battle of Songbirds and Snakes. And I gotta say, it is definitely going to be one of my favorites from 2023. The way that it's, it's sort of a prequel and it sort of sets up the story of President Snow and his more formative years. Just the way we're able to get uh, pretty much the story about Snow and seeing his turn more towards the dark side. It definitely was an interesting movie. Moving on to one of my favorite horror movies that came out this year and that is Totally Killer. This movie was an Amazon Prime Video exclusive and I really enjoy what they're able to do with this one. They have like time travel, it's a slasher movie. It's basically almost like if Back to the Future meets Scream. Honestly, I really had a lot of fun with this one and I really enjoyed it. Godzilla Minus One was definitely a surprise, but I gotta say, it's definitely going to be one of my favorites of 2023. Just the way they're able to give us an actual human side story that you can actually, you know, sympathize with these human characters, be able to feel for these human characters, as opposed to some of the American Godzilla films where you don't really care about them. But really kind of put the more human side story at the forefront and then have the backdrop of Godzilla. Godzilla is at his most monstrous villain in this movie. The way you see him terrorize and wreak havoc and destruction. It was awesome to see, but also terrorizing and fearful to see. And you actually feel for these human characters whenever Godzilla came attacking. And that third act battle was so awesome. It brought me back to my childhood, being able to hear the Godzilla theme blasting while they're trying to battle Godzilla. It was awesome, awesome. Definitely a favorite of this year. The Iron Claw is definitely going to go as go down as one of my favorites of 2023. The way they're able to give us this tragic 
story, but also have a, a be just be amazing movie. I I really like the story they were able to give us with this movie. Just uh, even though it was tragic, it was still amazing movie to see. And just the performances in this movie and Zac Efron, this is probably his best performance. And just seeing this family, this the way this family is, the way these brothers are with each other. And it just really makes you feel, it makes you feel emotional. Uh, just the, those scenes that you get in this movie are sad also and tragic. Really, really, this was an amazing movie. There was only one DC movie that I actually really liked and was actually one of my favorites from this year. And that was Blue Beetle. In my opinion, it is the best DC movie that came out this year. I enjoyed this movie so much. I really I really enjoyed what they were able to do with this character, especially being a fan of Blue Beetle for many years. I was, And we finally be able to get a live action version of him and it just was done so well. Really, really enjoyed this movie. In my opinion, Talk To Me is probably probably the best horror movie of the year. I honestly enjoyed this movie for what it was able to do as a horror movie and be able to make you feel uneasy and kind of creeped out at the same time. Like, it kind of did the things that I wanted a horror movie to kind of do. And give us an interesting story and the way that it ended off, it just left off on such a good ending to where it's like, it's... You don't know exactly what happened, but you just it's just left up to your interpretation, left up to your imagination on what you could possibly think would have happened. And I just really like the experience that I was able to get with this movie. Now we're going to get into some guilty pleasures of 2023. One of my guilty pleasures of this year is going to be Meg to the Trench. Now I really enjoyed the first one and really I just go to see these movies because I just like shark movies in general. And the way they're able to play out these movies are... You know, Jason Statham going up against a giant shark is just fun, dumb, dumb, you know, just some dumb fun. I just get some fun out of these movies. Now, I never played any Five Nights at Freddy's games or I don't know any of the lore. So whenever I watched this movie for the first time, I basically went into it not knowing anything. And honestly, I had fun with this movie. It actually was kind of fun to just watch this movie. It had a lot of uh, things going for it. So, yeah, it was just some harmless fun. No Hard Feelings was actually one of those good comedy films that came out this past year. Uh, just the way this comedy is, it's very raunchy. It stars Jeffrey Lawrence. Uh, like, I had a lot of fun. I got a lot of good laughs out of this movie. The Last Voyage of Demeter was one of those horror movies that wasn't really highly spoken of. But honestly, for me, um, I kind of liked it. I like some things about this movie, especially with it just being Dracula and a vampire movie. I actually liked kind of uh, different things about this movie. And on honestly, the ending part of this movie actually kind of intrigued me on if, it, if, if they're actually going to be able to continue this. I don't know if they will actually continue this, but it actually was intriguing enough on the way it ended that if they did actually continue it, I am will be actually interested in checking out what the continuation will be. But like I said, I, I enjoyed it enough. It was just one of those casual vampire Dracula movies. Yes, I still like watching Fast and the Furious movies. And that was no exception with Fast X. I did go check it out in theaters and had fun with this movie. I enjoyed it more than the previous ones that came out, like with 8 and 9. But, I mean, the main reason why I even watch Fast and Furious in the first place is because, of course, these movies are just dumb, fun. They're ridiculous at times. And that's what I watch them for. I watch it for the dumb, fun, and ridiculousness of the movies. And this movie was just dumb fun, like I said. We have A Haunting in Venice. This is the third installment to the uh, Hercule Poirot um, movies that we got over the past couple years. And with this movie, it was definitely leaning more into a horror factor. And I just like the way that these uh, movies play out. You know, they act as mystery movies, but this one turns out to be like... Uh, well, they're basically like murder mystery movies, but this one was definitely trying to push the horror... Uh, element a little bit more in this one and I gotta say for the most part I really did like it I really did enjoy it and with this movie series uh, these are just the movies I will continue watching if they keep putting them out and last but not least is going to be Strays now from what I hear I know a lot of people don't really like this movie that much but honestly after checking out this movie on streaming I gotta say uh, it was funny it was funny I gotta say it was definitely funny it was dumb fun humor uh, like, I laugh my ass off a lot in this movie. Like, the way this movie plays out honestly reminded me a little bit of Homeward Bound. It's almost like if Homeward Bound was a rated R movie. It's very raunchy, 
has a lot of humor, like especially dog humor, has a lot of dog humor going on in the way that these, uh, you know, you had the voice cast in here with uh, with Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx and some other actors. Honestly, it was just some dumb fun, and it had me it had me laughing throughout the whole movie. Just overall, some dumb fun. But that's going to do it for my list of my favorite movies of 2023 and the guilty pleasures of 2023. But definitely let me know down in the comments below what were some of your favorite movies of 2023. Did you have any guilty pleasures? Definitely like to hear y'all thoughts. But that is going to do it for this video. Don't forget to turn notifications on and subscribe. So you know why I'm posting our video. Hope y'all all have an awesome day and I will see y'all in the next one.